So this week's pretty exciting for us. Um, as you know, I'm, I've always been a numbers guy and it's all about the numbers. And today I'm thankful to have with us Weston Zimmerman from Synced Up and just an amazing numbers guy. And today I wanna to talk about some of those pain points and, um, and really what it's all about because it, it does go back to the numbers. If you're not making money, you might as well quit and go work for somebody else that knows how to make money because at the end of the day, we need to make a living. So nice to have you with us, Weston. Hey, thanks for having me, Phil. I, I appreciate it. It's always good to get in the same room as you. You're one of those industry titans uh, out there that's been at it for 30 to 40, I don't know how long you've been at it, but you've been out there for decades. It'll be 40, it'll be 40 for me next year. <laughs> no, I, so I started when I was 15. It's been, a, it's been quite the journey. I could maybe start with just a story of, of how these numbers work, but when I started, like I said, I was 15, we're a couple of young kids and just, we love to work, you know, and we love building people's dreams. So that's kind of how it started. But we got to the point where all of a sudden, three of us were married and our wives finally pulled us aside and they said, you boys better figure out how to make a living at this because this is no longer a hobby. No, they said, you need to start making a living. And we were struggling financially. It's like every ounce we made, we'd put back into the company. So we started doing some research. At that time, there was a gentleman called Charles Vanderkoy, Koy Associates. And and tremendous mentor for the hardscape industry. He um, had bid millions and millions of dollars of, of projects, residential and commercial. And we found him, he had done quite a few talks around the country and we were able to uh, hook up with his company and we actually hired him and he taught us you know, how to, uh, how to get our numbers right and how thankful we can be that we learned that early on because we had times in our business such as 08 and 09 and if our numbers were not in order, we would have been out of business. So we can be so thankful, you know, it comes back to those numbers and at the end of the year and it's, and you, I want you to elaborate on this, but it's not like you have to watch every single number in your business, which I'm not saying you do, but there's some key numbers that, that really stand out that if these numbers are not jiving, that you need to make some adjustments. So maybe you could start a little bit on, on who you are a little bit and then just kind of lead into, um, you know, what motivated you to, to be where you're at today. My name is Weston Zerman, as you already mentioned. I I started as a 16 year old kid biking to work, working on a crew, doing patios, landscapes, the water features, the whole nine yards. And really long story short, I really loved finding more efficient ways to do things. I, I, I was always trying to see a problem and come up with a better solution. And I was kind of tasked with some of that getting us off of paper, you know, back in the mid 2000s. That journey ultimately ended up in building a software for ourselves, but then taking it to the market. And today I'm passionate about, you know, ending entrepreneurial poverty in 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 the trades and the hardscape and the green industry. And to your point, kind of to your story, it's not who works the hardest that wins. Like hard work is a necessary ingredient for sure, but it's not a guarantor of success. There's, there's a large chunk of this green industry that knows that they've worked their tail off all season and they check their bank account and they're like, I don't know how I'm gonna make it through the winter. Hard work is just one part of a three-legged stool. The rest of it is getting those numbers in place and then tracking so that when you are getting those numbers in place, it's continuously you know, keeping up to your ever-growing business. Uh, because it's one thing to sit down and get your numbers in place today on November 28th, but guess what, come March, we're going to look a little different. We're going to be talking about hiring the next guy. Like everything, the insurance went up. Things just look different. So it's a continuously evolving thing. So the three-legged stool is, yep, hard work, but know your numbers and track so that tomorrow's numbers are also known. One thing I want to speak to real quick on that is the whole know your numbers thing kind of triggers a stigma of like, oh my goodness, I don't want to be an accounting nerd. I don't want to be, yeah. Just let me cut papers into the ground. I'm happier there. I get that. The good, like, all I want to say is it's not like you have to become an accounting nerd. With today's technology, it's as simple as plug in your expenses, who works for you, how much do you pay them, what do you pay for your insurance, and it spits your numbers back out at you. That's all, that's that, that's literally how simple it is today. Back in the Vanderkoy days, you had to hire a consultant to come in and look over your shoulder just to do that. Today, that's literally something you can do in minutes in software. We were we were on a DOS system with a floppy disk. Yep. And I'd put all the information in it and then I could go upstairs and probably eat dinner and then come back down and it was still computing all my information. Unbelievable. And then when the number showed up and it was off or something, it was it was so frustrating. But but it did. It did 
did that math for us. And I, I appreciate what you said too about, you know, just keeping track too, because I always relay our industry and I'll tell contractors a lot, say, this is like a baseball game and you don't wait till the ninth inning to find out what your score is. No, you'd be foolish to do that. You want to know what the score is every inning. So at the end of the first inning, if you're down, all right, you get that team together, you huddle together and you start looking at what's the strategies, how are we going to change this? The same way in your business, every inning, you want to be on task. And so even those as those jobs come in, I know our hardscape company, Baylor Brothers, I mean, so adamant about job costing every job so that you're noticing, okay, we got a problem here. And is it a bid problem or is it an installation problem? Or is it maybe it could be weather related? You're going to have those issues that, that pop up. But in the hardscape industry or construction industry, right? The failure rate is what, 80, 90%? And it's not because they don't know how to work hard. Right, it gets back to like you're saying, it's, it's that three-legged stool, you're gonna fall over if you don't have that third leg, that financial piece. To put it, to translate it to plain English so it doesn't feel like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to sit down for a month in the office and do a big fat uh, project this winter to straighten this out, no. It's as simple as building a budget, which is plugging your expenses in, is spitting, spitting your pricing back out. It's it's less than an hour experience unless you literally have no record of anything then to go find the stuff, right? That's one thing. So it's literally building a budget, plug your numbers in, get your numbers back out, and then it's tracking your man hours and receipts to per job. If you do those two things, you are 80% of the way there, literally. And I'll tell you a story of why the tracking part is so important because I had a friend in California that um, built a budget, what I just said, part one, when he was an $800,000 business. In under a year, he went, he doubled to 1.6, but he never updated his budget, wasn't tracking his overhead expenses and all of that and updating that budget. He thought he was doing his math correctly on paper, but he was losing money. It was showing he should be making profit, but there was no cash flow there. He was like, what's going on? Well, in 20 minutes, we figured out that the issue was is he was estimating jobs based on an $800,000 business model. And he was now a $1.6 million business model with insurances higher, payrolls high, everything's higher, right? We fiddled with a couple dials and a couple numbers and bam, he was back in business. That's why tracking is so important and it's not a sit down a one and done thing where, oh yeah, I went to the doctor and I filled, or I went to the dentist and I filled that tooth. Now it's a set and forget it. I never have to do it again. No, it's a It's like brushing your teeth. It's it's part of your daily lifestyle. That maintenance. You have to do it. Yeah, it's maintenance. Yep. Thank you for watching this week's tip of the week. You can sign up for our tip of the week on our website at PaveTool.com. You can also watch us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube.